Hi everyone, this is David and uh, this is a quick answer video to a question. How do you convert bulk multiple subtitles from one format to another? So we are going to convert multiple subtitles to a different format using subtitle edit and this is the bulk convert or the batch convert option. Uh, and this question is by Sese. Uh, I hope that name is correct. As for the other vid, uh, this other question, I have a video on that, so I'll comment or reply with that. So let's open up subtitle edit. And once we open it up, uh, we want to uh, go to tools, batch convert. And once we do that, uh, let's just minimize this, uh, you'll see different options. This is the input section, uh, and you can scan uh, different folders for the subtitles that you want to batch convert to one particular subtitle format. So you cannot select different output formats, but you can have multiple input formats that you want to convert. So uh, that's out of the way. So you can browse through a folder uh, to get the subtitles that you want. Secondly, uh, you can drag and drop, and that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to drag and drop two subtitles here, and this is an alpha, uh, substation uh, subtitle and this one is a subrip subtitle uh, and then we'll just move back to this particular folder and you'll see both files here and if you move this to the side you'll see there are different extensions dot ass dot srt you can just move this back uh, the three dots on this particular side are also to navigate to select if you just want to select individually uh, that is a subtitle but since we already have our subtitles here, you can now come to the section where you can add filters. If you want subrip without uh, UTF bomb header, more than two lines in one subtitle, text contains, these are just more or less filters that you want to use for your subtitles in here. Now, as for the output folder, you can save in source folder, that is inside the folder where these files originated, how to make ASS subtitles. Or you can select a different option here. If you check this particular box, you will be able to overwrite the files that are in here. So uh, potentially that is not something you want to do. But let us begin by selecting the output folder to be the save in source folder. And then you have different convert options to your right. It really depends on what you're working with. Remove formatting tags, remove style or actor, redo casing. Uh, if that is something that you wanted to do, uh, if potentially you are working with just uppercase subtitles and want to lower them, that is something that you can do. Uh, Auto balance lines, fix right to left languages, etc. That is something that you can do. But let's say uh, we are not interested in any of these convert options. This is just to let you know that they are there for you to use and manipulate your subtitles the way you want. We come to the uh, option where you need to select the format that you want to export the subtitles you have in the input out to. So they are almost all formats that you might want to export to from subrip all the way to the different versions supported by different softwares and applications, including Final Cut, Adobe, Inkscribe here. If you wanted a JSON a subtitle file, uh, Netflix timed, Phoenix uh, subtitle, Pinnacle impression, QuickTime text, real time, and then uh, we'll just go to the good old uh, plain text. Just scroll down almost to the bottom, and we have plain text. Uh, you can just click on plain text, and then you can click on settings to make any changes that you want to the particular plain text file. You can remove styling, merge all lines, unbreak lines, add new line after text, etc. It really depends on you. Now, once you're done with that, you can select the encoding format that you want. There are different types of encoding uh, in here. UTF with BOM, UTF without BOM. If you are using or have files in different languages, you can choose whatever encoding works for you. So let's just leave everything as a default. And uh, the three dots here are also to like uh, check the file names and all that. But let's say we just want to convert. Just click on convert. And the status here shows converted. If we navigate to the folder with our subtitles, and then let's do a date modified, date modified, 
these are the two files. If I move the date modified uh, to this particular section, just move it here, you'll see the files that were just modified. Let's minimize this. These two files were modified at the same time right now. If I just double click, that's just a text file. If I just double click, that is just a text file. So that is how you can batch convert or bulk convert subtitles from one format to another using subtitle edit. And the input will be made up of different subtitle formats, but the output can only be one subtitle format. So I hope that this particular video answers your particular question. Thank you for asking and thank you for watching.